Hello and welcome to MJ Studies. Today we will see about Amazon AWS S3 lifecycle rules. So what is uh, lifecycle rules, how we can use it, how we can configure it and we will see all those things in our today's video. So what is lifecycle uh, rules? Uh, an S3 lifecycle rules configuration consists of a set of rules with predefined actions that you want to that you want Amazon S3 to perform on objects during their lifetime. So what is Amazon lifecycle configuration rules so that uh, you set some rules for, uh, in your bucket that at this point of time this object or this object of from bucket goes to this state this object perform this uh, activity you can perform uh, by the help with the help of lifecycle rules configuration. So use lifecycle rules to define actions you want Amazon S3 to take during an object's lifecycle such as transitioning objects to another storage classes archiving them or deleting them after a specific period of time so yeah by, with the help of lifecycle configuration we can define our amazon uh, s3 bucket we can uh, take uh, we can say our amazon s3 bucket that uh, you can perform this action at this period of time yeah so now we'll see that how we can create a lifecycle policy uh, for our bucket for our object uh, for both those things we will we'll see that how we can create so as you know uh, we created uh, our bucket in our uh, previous videos how we can create how we can configure so if you uh, didn't watch that video just uh, go to i button and check for that video now we'll go inside the bucket and there are some uh, objects which we uploaded if you don't know about versioning then i'll put that versioning video also in the i button you can uh, see the versioning video in the i button so that you can uh, know about the versioning now i'll uh, we'll just go for the uh, life cycle rules so the life cycle rules are uh, the option comes in the under the management so you can just click inside the bucket and uh, you found the uh, option management in the upper uh, tools after that you found the option lifecycle rules just click on create lifecycle rules when you click on create lifecycle rule it will ask you about lifecycle rule name so we'll provide the name mj study underscore life cycle yeah now uh, so there are some uh, something that are you want to specify some objects uh, which needs to be filled uh, which needs to be uh, get in the action by uh, by this life cycle or you want to perform this uh, life cycle rule to complete objects in the bucket so you can choose accordingly you can filter the uh, uh, objects according to you or either you can choose complete bucket we will choosing complete bucket for now now acknowledge the bucket and now here now it will ask us about the life cycle action rules so that what uh, action should be performed with this life cycle rule so either we need to move move the current version whatsoever the current file version now the life cycle rule mainly used when uh, we want that this is uh, this uh, bucket objects are not under the use these bucket objects are not triggers not uh, uh, the people are not using these buckets objects these bucket objects are used uh, once in a month or once in a quarter then we can move these bucket objects to the uh, other storage classes it will uh, just save your costing it will save your uh, uh, monthly budget and all those in the AWS S3 so yeah we can check that uh, here we found so many S3 options S3 tiers so storage tiers so we'll check one by one standard IAs in the standard IA you can see that the, uh, the, in the data would be fre infrequently used once in a month the data should be used once in a month and the storage time uh, that how long the data should be in standard IA it would be minimum of 30 days you can choose intelligent tiering in intelligent tiering the data should be uh, unknown pattern the access pattern is unknown that we don't know that either the data uh, might be used once in a week either the data might use twice in a week so we don't know the pattern of uh, accessing the data so there is no minimum duration uh, for this uh, intelligent tiering now here you found one zone IA in one zone uh, in uh, IA what happened the uh, it works same as standard IA but here uh, the data all the data is stored in uh, one availability zone but in standard IA the data is stored in multiple availability zone uh, the in uh, one zone IA the data is stored in a uh, single availability zone and it is stored the minimum for 30 days uh, same as standard IA now glacier glacier instant uh, instant uh, retrieval so in uh, glacier instant retrieval uh, the data must be accessible once in a quarter or twice in a quarter so for this we use uh, glacier instant retrieval here the minimum storage duration for uh, glacier instance is 90 days and uh, the retrieval of data would be in milliseconds now glacier flexible retrieval in this the data uh, is uh, accessible in minutes and hours and the minimum duration of storage is 90 days in glacier deep archive uh, the minimum uh, storage uh, duration is 180 days and uh, with this it's a deep archive so the data would be accessible in hours 
you can uh, you just you need to wait for hours to access your data so here we are using a standard ia for of now or yeah i'll tell you one by one all those options now second option is non current version it means if we uh, the versioning is enabled so there are uh, so many versions of one file you can upload one file and overwrite that file or you can just overwrite another file so that the versions are created for the same file so what you want if you want your versions to be uh, set in any of the uh, different storage class then you can make it by this you can just give the number of days that minimum number of days is 90 days uh, 30 days for standard i according to uh, different different storage classes the minimum number of days should be changes now number of newer versions so uh, you can it's optional one but you can uh, choose up to 100 versions 100 versions you can uh, just put it in the next class uh, next storage class here expire current version of object so in expire current versions of object that after how many days the object would be expire uh, so you can just uh, need to give the value i uh, need to give the number of days either 10 days 20 days 5 days 10 days that how many days the uh, version which is uh, expire the uh, data which is expired the version which is expired should be uh, uh, deleted now permanently delete the uh, the non current versions of object so whatever non current versions we have either we can choose uh, the storage to be transferred to Uh, different storage classes so that your costing uh, would be decreases or either you uh, you can delete that uh, version with the permanent delete option here you found the permanent delete option that how many in how many numbers you can delete and the number of versions that how many number of versions from the bottom it, it starts so from the bottom how many number of versions you want to delete uh, in how many days so you can choose that thing also you can delete the expired objects with the delete marker you can delete the delete marker Uh, objects with this that in com in completed multi uh, part uploader uh, and whatsoever you want to delete how many in how many number of days you want to delete you can delete that files now also yeah by this uh, now what we'll do we'll just go for the first one and i'll tell you that after life cycle policy creation what happened so we'll go for standard i and the number of days would be uh, as you see i put 30 then it show it shows me that the standard i should be of minimum 30 days i'll put 10 days so it shows me that the minimum uh, is 30 days so i put 30 now create rule i just click on create rules so yeah now you see that the rule is created i refresh it you see now life cycle rule is created you can uh, edit the rule from here if you want to edit the rule as you uh, just a second it might it might be created creating or something yeah you can just visit the rule and check for the information whatsoever information about uh, this life cycle rule do how many days uh, the current version and how many days to move to the standard ia how many days left uh, you can check all those things yeah in the action button in the action button you can enable and disable the rule if you want to disable this rule you can disable this rule if you want to enable this rule enable this rule you can delete this rule you can edit this rule by clicking on edit yeah you can edit this rule or you can add another rule or you can add for a specific object you can cho uh, choose that thing also yeah this is uh, all about the life cycle you need to know yeah thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubt feel free to comment below please like share and subscribe mj study goodbye